so hi guys and today's video is very important and I have got lots of requests to make this video and this is about how to read pathology okay so uh, in this video I'm going to cover how can you read pathology or how can you use it to solve vignettes and how can you learn that all all stuff in pathology okay and we'll try to kill maximum birds with minimum stones so basically in the exams like next USMLE or UK MLA or lab whatever they called it these days uh, or when you will give exam uh, so uh, in these examinations mostly the questions are vignette based that, that is a clinical scenario will be given and you will be asked a question from it now uh, the question can be related to the uh, if you're talking about only pathology then the question can be related to the to the diagnosis it can be used related to the pathogenesis some uh, morphological structure uh, or maybe some uh, clinical feature okay uh, if you go to medicine then uh, management and all other stuff also comes okay but uh, to understand these clinical vignettes this thing comes from pathology okay so don't think that you can pass your uh, medicine examination like if the questions are questions like in uh, next examination the questions are going to be from medicine surgery okay so don't think that if you don't study pathology you can ace that no that that's not going to happen so you need to study uh, pathology too now if you study pathology in the right way then this is going to be really easy yes solving the vignettes i'm talking about okay so the book which i am uh, advising you or i am referring to uh, is the robins and quadrant pathologic basis of disease there are other books for pathology but i am suggesting uh, this one uh, because first of all it's one of the best books one of the gold standard book and the stuff which is uh, written uh, it is written in such a way that it will make uh, you easy to understand the vignettes okay so after your after selecting the book before reading it because if you start reading robins there are going to be times that you will you won't understand anything okay so if you don't understand anything in first reading don't worry I was also the same so the first thing you need is get uh, some lectures or some kind of notes which are exactly in the order of uh, uh, robins okay okay it's hard that anything will cover everything which is given in robins uh, i don't think any sources there on in the world which will cover everything which is in the robins but there are many resources that you can refer to i am going to tell you few sources which you can use for online lectures okay the number one is the best sources but see the links to all the stuff which i tell is in the description okay you can uh, get it from there okay so the number one thing is pathoma the second one is lecturio now why lecturio is good because lecturio has a book matcher thing so what you can do is you can uh, go to the lecturio and you can go to the book matcher and you can add the page number for your for the which you are studying in robins and it will give you the video related to that page number okay the third now these two are actually the paid services but medical school pathology the third thing is a free service so it is a lectures a series it's a blog i have actually dedicated a complete video on that uh, i have linked to that video i think this must be here above kind somewhere uh, so you can go to that video you can watch it uh, in that i have explained in detail what this blog is about and i think the blog will cover all the lectures related to robits and all the ppts too as well as all the morphological slides so this one is one of the best as well as free resource to understand pathology next are the golian pathology uh, notes or audio lectures so you can you refer to them too okay the next thing which i personally use for pathology now like i have actually cleared my pathology exam okay uh, i am past pathology i am now in third year so i am studying some other subject like community medicine ophthalmology and ent okay but right now i am also revising pathology and i am doing that from ila jain ma'am's uh, lecture so uh, they are in the app marrow and ma'am covers most of the uh, robins okay the last source which i have actually made is bukeshi uh, bukeshi.com so this is my screen guys and i am going to tell about uh, bukeshi.com now so i go to bukeshi.com okay so when i visit this site then i will go to uh, uh, free courses and in that i go to the medical subjects and uh, from there let's go down and there we have pathology okay so uh, so that's just an advertisement okay so here you can see a lot of different topics are there okay so this is the general pathology and then this is the systemic so i have to complete this now it is not yet completed but i will complete in in coming few days okay 
I'm working really hard on it. So you can see that this topic. So if I go to a topic, let's see which topic. Let's see W. No, let's see cardiac pathology. So when I go to this topic, so what I have done is I have shared all these videos. Okay, so from like about heart failure or then congenital heart diseases and coronary heart diseases or myocardial infection uh, infarction. Sorry. So I have uh, shared all these videos. And it's not showing it right now because my internet is a bit slow. Sorry. So you see that all these different various videos I have shared from various channels. So this is from Ninja Nerd. Okay. This is from Lecturio. So I have shared these videos. Okay. This is from Khan Academy. Okay. So you can use this uh, resource because you see for pathology, there are not many resources on the internet available. So I hope this will be very helpful for you. Okay. Now there is one thing I'm going to tell you uh, on Bukeshi I have not completed the Robins like I'm not like if you see some minor topics then don't think that I have shared any video from that or some minor topics like ferroptosis so, uh, it is there in the 10th edition of Robins okay the latest edition so I, I didn't share that video on my uh, website because then the, those blogs are going to be uh, really long and you see you don't need this much in depth okay if somebody want to study in that depth then probably he doesn't need this much uh, of resources okay the next thing which you have to do so you are uh, clear with the lecture so you have studied the lecture uh, now after the lecture uh, what you need to do is read the robins okay so do it as fast as you can okay so like if you uh, have read the uh, like if you attended the lecture then now next step is to uh, read the book okay because you are going to forget it eventually so be it, uh, be as fast as possible in this step now everyone do till here this step i have not tell you anything really out of the world and well i'm not going to tell you out of the world after this also but uh, this was something which everyone does okay uh, there is nobody who uh, everybody knows about these things but now i'm going to tell you some things which most people don't so now um, now for a minute i'm going to share my screen i'm going to tell you about a concept so now because we have less time so that means we have only a single stone and we have to kill two, two birds we have to learn that humongous amount of information and we have to solve the clinical vignettes so how i'm going to do that so or how we are going to do that i'm going to show you that on, on my screen for a minute and then we'll discuss later okay so here's my screen so hi guys and this is my white port so i'm using paint okay so you can actually use paint too if you want to use a white port okay so this can be a really good advice for you so let's talk about what i'm going to try so basically i have one stone okay and this stone is and this stone is time okay so i have limited time okay and with this stone i have to kill two birds okay and what this what these birds are one is learning and the other can you guess that is your questions okay question or clinical vignettes okay so i have to do these two things okay so how can i do so here i'm going to tell you something about your brain and how so first let's see how can you learn okay so there is i'm going to tell you now about something about the brain so when something comes to your um, uh, memory then uh, it will go pass uh, through your uh, hippocampus that will take your short term memory okay and from short term memory you can go to the long term memory okay now this is a really um, um, not a very efficient pathway but there is another pathway and what you can do is you can take the memory okay this is my dear memory this is the information and I can directly go to amygdala and then this what this means that there is an emotional connect okay or there is something to connect so how can you do that now you can do that uh, by connecting it with a vignette so when you see a vignette then in, in a vignette there will be some information about a case so you will connect yourself with the case and that's how you will remember the case you will remember the features as well as you will remember uh, the pathology one other thing you can do uh, is that you can actually see the real life cases in your postings and then relate the pathology with that with that okay so now comes the most important question where i can find these clinical vignette based questions okay now uh, there here i'm going to help you a lot okay so on the internet uh, there are many resources but uh, there are a few books which can help you a lot 
Now, uh, this is the number one book. I will actually tell you two books. So the number one book uh, which I am going to tell you is is Robinson Quarter and Review of Pathology. Now this is an MCQ book and everything is given in MCQs. Okay, so uh, like for per chapter there are uh, around fifty to sixty MCQs. Uh, and they all are vignette based and they are in the order of uh, the topics given in robin so for with every question you will actually see that there are page number written with that topic okay so the questions are not easy in the book i'm telling you don't think that you are doing it uh, step wise like page number wise so you already know a lot about uh, what the question is going to be about uh, so don't think that it is going to be really easy for you the, the questions are really good uh, and uh, you will understand uh, uh, pathology a lot with this the next book which you which you can also use that is also a good book that is usmle step 1 secrets okay this is an optional uh, the robinson cotton review of pathology is really good book well of course uh, the examination usmle the questions in uh, the review book are uh, are more difficult than what you are going to see in usmle but uh, usmle step 1 secrets contains a bit more uh, high yield questions related to exam only and not uh, related to robins and it covers a lot more stuff like uh not just pathology but pharmacology also and it will also introduce you with a lot of uh, therapeutic as well as diagnostic uh, things okay i guess this is all for this video and i hope uh, you love this video and if you love this video then you can share it with your friends and uh, if you and if you really love it that you can subscribe also okay so um god bless you